Hi, my name is Sandra Feeney, and uh, I customize Havana's flip flops. We have the wedges, we have top, we call this Havana's top because it's flat, right? In this string, the stripe is wider. Um, so it, it goes from this to this, right? Or from this to this. So uh, a lot of my customers, they also crafters because um, they go from their stores on Etsy to request my product. And so from now on, I'm gonna be selling them the kit. You buy a kit. What is it? What does the kit include? The kit includes the flip flop, okay? The glue. This is a shoes glue. Yes. Bye. See ya. Um, and it's a proper glue to use for flip flops. And is this is a silk screen, um, silk string. Okay, so felt to make this. This is called cabedal. Um, I call it medallion, all right? Because you use different beads and all that to do that. You need a string that does not come in the kit, a needle, okay? In your pliers, scissors, to do this project. Okay, so what do you need to, what do you use the string for? Use to do this, to cover the flip-flop straps with it. It's very silky, very sleek, very comfortable. And what I'm being gonna be showing you guys today is how to make this piece, okay? The medallion. The medallion is gonna go on top of this one. So. That being said, I already covered the straps with the silk screen. Um, and now I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this. You cut three circles, right? This is three. One smaller to the same. We're gonna make this one looks exactly like this one. I'm gonna take the flat part of the stone, okay? and put it right there in the middle, press it, okay? And then we come with this other piece. Also put a glue and this one goes in the middle, all right? Make sure if you can't tell, just uh, just move that direction to make sure it's nice and straight. Now, the next step is I already put a, a thread in my needle. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work with this big part first. So I'm going to put the needle on the back. Right, very close to where I want it. Very close to the stone, but not too close. And where I want to start my work. I'm gonna put a bunch of beads. Uh, it. I'm not gonna count how many beads I'm gonna put it. It's because it depends on the shape of your stone. It depends on the size. So it really, I cannot really tell you how many. Okay. So I have enough beads on my thread, right? Right. Now what I'm gonna do, oh shoot. The glue's got into my shoes. Um, I'm gonna put a glue around Okay, glue around on my big stone. It's 
It's a fun, th fun thing to do. It's fun to create. It's fun to see your your thing um, becoming something special. From this to this, obviously. If you are a crafter, you know what I'm talking about. Because... It's fun. So you come with your, you could, you could be doing this with your finger too. It's okay. Don't worry if the glue, it goes on the side because you're going to glue this whole thing anyways. So don't worry about that. Um, press with your finger. It looks like I need a little bit more glue here. So you can pull it back and put more glue to see. Now she will stay. All right. And now we're going to come over here uh, and take the rest. There was the rest of the beads that. Um, I put it too much. It's already um, in place now and I put the needle down and came back up with it. So now we're gonna go to the second row. All right. So you just kind of go around until you finish fill it up all the the Oh, your circle. See, you, you get some beads because we're gonna have to. The reason why I'm using um, the needle and the glue and the string, the thread, is because we're gonna sew it anyways to make sure it's secure. Because only glue, you never know how people uh, take care of the flip flops. So, it is important to secure every bead, even though it's glue. Could be going to the beach or have an animal in the house that will play with your shoes. And well, it could be so many things. But anyways, it's your work and you wanna make sure that it's perfect, nice and secure. So now we're gonna do another glue. All right, I come here. Again, see how easy it is when it's on the string? So much easier. And whatever is um, left, you can just pull with your finger. It's so much easier to work like that. There you go. There's two extras. Mm, not really. I can use another one here. I think. That's so funny. Hmm. You just have to have a little bit patient. All right. Um. I think here that I have an extra one. So here's what I want to show you guys. All right, it's already in place. You pick it up very delicate. Um, go to the bottom. Okay. 
and go back up. Well, right now you're not gonna go back up. This is what I wanna show you because we use different things, right? Right now we're gonna use this. And, because this is the next step, as you can see. So right now we're not gonna use the needle because we're just gonna put glue around. Glue, glue, glue. And glue it. You tap with your fingers, just keep on tapping and you get your pliers. I don't know if you can see, can you see stuff? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now look how it's coming out. It's coming out exactly like this. Oh, um, now we're gonna do, as you can see, we finished this. What I did with the thread is I just, you know, walk around up and down until I get here to this second circle. I already glue it. I already cut my piece. And now I come here with my finger. I like to use my finger, even though. So you see, this happens. I cut it too small. Now we're gonna do is take another piece. Okay. So as you can see, I put the the first thing around. Now, at my string is right there, like I want it to be, so I can start my second road. My second row of beads, which in this case, we're gonna follow the same pattern that it's on top of here. Um, but just like I said, you guys can buy this already, um, made like this from me with the whole kit thing that I'm gonna, if you are interested in the kit, you just uh, leave a message on the bottom and I will tell you how much it costs. If you want to buy the flip-flop already made, you go to my Etsy. It's www.etsy.com shop slash sandals by Sandra. Okay. Which I'm also going to leave the description in this video for you guys. But I want to let you guys know that um, you can be doing this. It's, it'll be fun. You can do this for a bridal party. It's fun. How to assemble your own flip-flop. I do a lot of bridal parties and the girls just love it because it's something that they become so proud of that they made it themselves. You know, they buy the kit and they just, they already buy it like that. So I'll just come over and uh, I just teach them how to glue into the flip-flop. And they love it because it's something, like I said, they're doing it themselves, you know. So, yeah, I have enough beads here. Let's go get some glue. And again, the same process. It's always the same process besides the fact that when you're gluing something that it's all the rhinestones or something you can't use the needle the needle is a big uh, important part part of your project all right you just press it tap it like this all right, and it's done.
So now we're gonna glue, do the finished product with this one, okay? So we just put glue at the edge of it and we take a piece of felt and we do this and let it dry. When it dries, I'm gonna cut it around to be a perfect, it will be perfect like this, no stitches, no nothing. And then the next step will be assembling on a flip flop. So I'm almost done with my project here. Um, it's just random stitches, okay guys? Because the only thing you want to do is make sure this is secure in your flip flop. I'm just, you know, I did this side. Now I'm trying to secure a little bit on this side because if I don't, it will be just loose on this side. So I'm going, coming back again with this one. And like I said, see, you're getting through the felt to the strap and you push it down. You let it go, your pliers, but the one on the bottom, the stitch on the bottom, always have to be a small one. You try to get through it. Sometimes it's tough because it gets between things that is a very tight to get through it. So that's why it's always good to use the the plier. Are you ready? All right, so we are done, and this is our finished product, nice and tight. It won't go anywhere. If you like my video, um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a like, please. I really appreciate. And for anybody who just got here, my name is Sandra Finney. I have an Etsy store called Sandals by Sandra. So you can look at my Etsy store. Either you can buy the flip-flops already made or you can uh, just buy the kit and order your own supply and learn how to make it. There's a bunch of um, videos, uh, tutorials on how to make flip-flops, how to blemish them. Okay? Thank you so much.